Entangling adjectives and adverbs. Mastering good versus well. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our Comprehensive Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we're diving into a commonly confusing topic. Good versus well, in comparative and superlative forms. Now, I know it might sound complicated, but don't worry. We're here to help you understand and confidently use these adverbs and adjectives in your day-to-day -day English conversations and writings. Before we start, let's quickly recap. Remember, good is an adjective and well is an adverb. So, we use good to describe a noun, like in, she is a good writer. On the other hand, well describes a verb, like in, he runs well. But remember, well can also be an adjective when talking about health, like in, she is feeling well today. Now, on to the fun part. Let's talk about how we use good and well in comparative and superlative forms. Comparative forms show a higher degree or change, while superlative forms indicate the highest degree of something. For good, the comparative form is better and the superlative form is best. For, well, when used as an adverb, it follows the same pattern, better, comparative, and best, superlative. Examples. She is a good writer, but he is better. Comparative. Out of all the students, she is the best. Superlative. Note. Well, as an adjective, when talking about health, uses better, and best. For example, I'm feeling well today, but I felt better yesterday. Let's put theory into practice with some examples. 1. You did a good job, but she did it better. 2. Of all the chefs in this competition, you cooked the best. 3. He performs well on stage, but his brother performs better. 4. She feels well today, but she felt best last weekend. Finally, let's tackle some common errors. Remember, you can't say gooder or goodest. The correct forms are better and best. Incorrect, he runs gooder than me. Correct, he runs better than me. Incorrect, she is the goodest in the class. Correct. She is the best in the class. That wraps up our session on good versus well in comparative and superlative forms. With a clear understanding and a bit of practice, you can easily master the usage of these adjectives and adverbs. Remember, learning English, like any other language, is a journey. Don't stress about getting everything right all at once. Happy learning! and see you in our next lesson.